we talked about Ernest Becker and uh, the the how much value he puts on our mortality and our denial of our mortality. Do you think about your mortality? Do you think about your own death? You know, what's funny is I used to not be able to, but as you get older, you just know people who die and there's all these things and it just becomes familiar and, and more of a more ordinary, which is what it is. But are you afraid? Um, sure. Although less so. Um, and it's not like I didn't have some kind of insight or revelation to become less afraid. I think I just, like I say, it's kind of familiarity. It's just knowing people who've who've died. And I really believe in the future. I have this optimism that people or this whole thing of life on Earth, this whole thing we're part of, I don't know where to draw that circle, but this thing is going somewhere and has some kind of value. And you can't both believe in the future and want to live forever. You have to make room for it. You know, like you have to, that optimism has to also come with its own like humility. You have to make yourself small wow. to, to believe in the future. And so it actually, in a funny way, comforts me. Wow. That's powerful. <laughs> and optimism requires you to kind of step down after a time. Yeah, I mean, and on that said, life seems kind of short, but you know, yeah. whatever. <laughs> Do you think I, there? I, I've tried to find. The, I can't find the complaint department. You know, <laughs> I really want to. I want to bring this up, but the customer service number never yeah. answers, and yeah. like the email bounces one way. So yeah. 